good afternoon good night good day good whatever time you guys are watching this video my name is angel lemus and i'm here today not with a vlog not with a you know a funny video uh an important video that i get asked a lot frequently you know um what exactly do i need to get into a house or to start looking for a house so this is just going to be a little explanation you know there's probably a lot of videos on youtube like this you know what exactly do i need to get into a house but this is just going to be simple broken down easy for everybody to understand so let's get it started so you're looking to buy a home what's the first step first step pre-approval what exactly is a pre-approval pre-approval is pretty much what the bank is willing to lend you if you need a bank which most people usually do so let me explain to you what the a pre-approval is pre-approval what i said what the bank is willing to lend you pretty much determines what number you guys could look for a house so some people are pre-approval 425 look for houses that are 425 some people are looking for houses of 500 you look for houses that are 500 some people are pre-approved for 700 you look for houses that are 700 around the area so this is a, this is a beautiful example of what a pre-approval is this is exactly what a pre-approval is let me show you guys so look purchase price 545 you guys can see that loan term 30 year fixed rate mortgage loan type fha that's i'll explain to you later and taxes nine thousand down payment five percent so usually you can do 3.5 percent five percent however much you're willing to put down on a house but in this in this uh case they're willing to put five percent down on taxes that are nine thousand on a property that is worth 545,000. So that's the area you're looking for when it comes to buying a house, when it comes to me looking for a house for you. Um, this is pretty much just uh, helps guide you on what exactly you can look for and how much you can, uh, not exactly afford, but how much the bank on paper thinks you can afford. So what are the documents that you need to get a pre-approval? I'll explain to you that right now. Now that we touch bases on what exactly a pre-approval is, let me explain to you what exactly you need, what information you need to get a pre-approval. So pretty much, you know, you sit down with your agent. Usually their agent has a preferred lender or if you have a preferred lender, however you go, you could go to Chase, you could go to uh, uh, Citibank, you could go to TD Bank, you could go to all of these banks and they'll give you a pre-approval. But we usually use Nick Raimondi. He's one of the best in the game. Um, he usually closes all of our deals. And um, yeah, so we usually use him. He's one of the best. Uh, loan officers out. Um, so what exactly do you need to get a pre-approval? Pretty much income information. What exactly is that? Copy of your ID alongside your social security card this pretty much explains everything that you need but this is the basics and this is what exactly is going to get you pre-approved copies of your w-2 forms for the past two years pay stubs for the last 30 days showing year to year year to date and current period earnings proof of social security or pension income if applicable that's pretty much all you need after that, it's probably a little few things, but other than this right here, and if you have all of this in line, you can get pre-approved. You also do need at least a credit score of 550. But other than that, you're that's all you need for a pre-approval. You know, people usually try to break it down into something bigger, but all you need is those documents. You need, let me, let me tell you again, copy of your ID alongside your social security copy of your w-2 forms for the past two years with taxes pay stubs for the last 30 days showing year to date and current period earnings proof of social security or pension income if applicable if not all you need is the three up top copy of your id along with social security card copy of w-2 forms for the past two years with taxes pay stubs for the last 30 days showing year to date and current period earnings so once you have all of this, usually what I do, I take, I get the information from our clients 
and then I send it to the bank because, you know, you going out your way to do all of that. It, it should be my job to go out, grab the paper, send it over to uh, Nick. That's our one of the best loan officers we use. And then um, they get you guys pre-approved. That's pretty much it. Uh, 550 credit score. If you do not have a 550 credit score, you have to up it up. But other than that, you get pre-approved. You start looking for house. And I almost forgot one thing. You need bank statements of the most recent two months of any account held in direction of credit union. So, I mean, that's all you need. <laughs> copy of your ID alongside social security card. Copy of your W-2 form with past two years with taxes. Pay stubs for the last 30 days showing year to date and current period earnings. Bank statement for the most recent two months. It pretty much so now that we got the pre-approval out of the way um you know what exactly a pre-approval is pretty much after you get all of that uh you you send over uh, all of the information i need send it over to the bank the bank gives you the pre-approval now you start looking for houses you know uh this is what exactly you would be looking for right here um, the, it's just pretty much explaining who's giving you the, the loan, um, what bank, stuff like that. Um, so like I said in the beginning of the video, FHA, that's a loan type. That's a type of loan. Uh, there's two types of loan. Uh, there's actually more than two types of loan. There's a lot of different loans, but usually the two types I usually work with are conventional FHA. Pretty much FHA loan lets you go down uh put the down payment 3.5 to 5 percent conventional is usually five percent and up maybe so six percent up uh conventional loan so what a fha mortgage is is a federal housing administration loan pretty much the house has to be up to date has to be up to code has to have railings on a certain side of the steps has to um, you know the gas has to always work stuff like that uh, obviously all homes are gonna have but uh this this loan just lets you go down to 3.5 percent uh in the market that we're in now 3.5 percent is really hard to find a house but you know depending on the 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 size of the loan anything's anything's possible you know i'm always finding houses for people 3.5 percent you know so whenever you guys are ready looking for a home i'm here for you guys always here to help you know business card right here in the back you guys ever need anything give me a call text on instagram however you guys like to contact um also our website vivid homes realty contact me on there pretty much just so i can sum it up for you guys fha 3.5 percent up 3.5 percent to five percent conventional five percent six percent and up pretty much it's pretty that simple um I don't want to get you guys too, you know, confused on what an FHA and conventional is. So just remember it by those numbers. Uh, FHA is 3.5% down. Uh, conventional is 5%, 6%, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll explain what, you know, in detail what exactly FHA mortgage is, all different types of mortgages in a different video. But, you know, since this video was just, you know, introduction on what exactly you need to get into a house what uh information you need to give me you need to give the bank however you guys do it it's more better if your agent does it gives you less stress you know you're, you have time to do whatever else you need to do and let the agent worry about that but yeah um that's pretty much what it is and yeah. um thank you guys for um letting me show you guys you know clicking on the video on uh, me explaining to you guys what exactly you need to uh, you know start the house hunting start looking for houses um yeah um thank you guys for clicking on the video you know first step is bringing the information to get the pre-approval so you know everything i explained in the video go back reset write it down and then um you know go from there i'm always here to help you guys with whatever if you guys have any questions dm me on instagram text me 
I'll post a video about it. I'll, I'll you know, I'll go out my way to, you know, help you guys understand uh, what exactly you need to buy home because everybody wants to buy home at at any age and it's just the the dream to be able to buy a property live in it and not have to worry about rent or anything but a mortgage um so first step you know bring the information that's needed second step you know me as the agent i'll help you send it over to the bank third step uh, get pre-approved, you get the pre-approval, that's the bank's job, they do their thing, they do their numbers, and then they send the pre-approval, email it to us, and then the last step, not the last step, but the last step of the process is start looking for houses. So, you know, thank you guys for clicking on the video, have any questions, DM me, text me, call me, whatever, I'm always here for you guys business card right here as usual um thank you guys stay motivated stay positive always push for more appreciate you guys thank you for the subscribe if you haven't subscribed subscribe like the video um i'm still new to this so you know i'll turn on the comments this time and thank you have a good one guys